Hey, what's happening, you guys? We're going to do a little bit of equation solving by inverse operations. So um, last chapter, we go, we went through um, how to manipulate polynomials. We combined like terms. Uh, we used the distributive property. We multiplied and divided polynomials by a constant. And we also multiplied and divided them by a monomial. All right. So today, we are going to look at um, solving equations. by inverse operations. Oops. All right, so what does an inverse operation mean? Well, it basically means we're gonna go backwards or we undo something, undo or reverse. Now, we all know about bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, adding, and subtraction. Well, this is basically bed mass backwards. So we've got bed mass, and whenever we uh, try to solve equations, we're going to be um, using bed mass backwards. All right, so what we're going to do, there's a few ways to do this, and we're going to start with a fairly simple question, and we're going to go x plus 7.4 equals 13.7. Well, it, it may look a little bit difficult, but what we're going to do is we're going to do two different ways how to do this. All right. And we've got the algebraic way. And we've also got the arrow diagram way. Both ways, you'll eventually get to the algebraic way. But you know what? First, what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the arrow diagram. So what we have to do is the first step is we have to start with our variable. What is happening to x? All right. So if you look, we've got x right here. Well, what's happening to it? Well, we're adding 7.4 to it, and we're going to get 13.7. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with x in our box. And we're as we make an arrow, we're going to put the process. So we add. 7.4 to it and what do we get well we get x plus 7.4 all right well what does that equal when we get the equal sign we go down what does that equal well we get 13.7 now this is where the reverse or the inverse operation happens well what's going on well we're going to do the exact opposite of adding 7.4 we're going to subtract 7.4 7 minus 7.4 and we're going to get 6.3. And guess what? x equals 6.3. So if we substituted 6.3 back in, we would get 13.7. That's our arrow diagram way. It's a fairly, um, it, it shows us, it demonstrates what's actually going on. We do the exact opposite. You notice we have positive 7.4 and negative 7.4. All right, let's try it algebraically. All right, so I'm going to rewrite our equation. x plus 7.4 equals 13.7. All right, so we ask ourselves, what's the opposite of positive 7.4 minus 7.4? Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. And 7.4 minus 7.4 is 0. We're left with x, and we get 13.7 minus 7.4, and we get 6.3. We get the same thing, x equals 6.3. All right, we're going to try something a little bit more difficult. And we're going to go, we're going to continue on using algebraic way and arrow diagram method. And so we've got x over 5 plus 7 equals 11.6. And we're going to put that over here as well. All right, so arrow diagram way, what are we going to do? We're going to ask what we're doing to x. What's going on? So let's start with x. And we're dividing x by 5. So divide by 5. And what do we get? Well, we get x over 5. Our next step is we are adding 7. And we're getting x over 5 plus 7. Now, that equals 11.6. And we're going to just do the exact opposite operations to what we did. We're going to subtract 7.4. Or, sorry, 7. <laughs> get caught up from the other question there. And 
So we're going to subtract 7, and we're going to get 4.6 from that. And then we're going to do the exact opposite. So the opposite of divide by 5 is multiply by 5, and we get 23. x equals 23. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do it the algebraic way. So we have to ask yourself, what are we doing to x? Well, we're dividing it by 5, and we're going to add 7. But what we need to do is we need to think about bed mass backwards, subtraction, addition. We're going to get rid of this 7 by subtracting it from one side. We're going to subtract it from this side. So we get x over 5 equals 4.6. Now, because we're dividing x by 5, the opposite of division is multiplication. Multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. These are going to cancel out to 1. 5 times 1 over 5, which is what is in front of the x, is 1. And we get an x equals 4.6 times 5 is going to be 23. All right. One more little example here. And we're going to get a little bit more difficult. All right. And we are going to go stick with our two different ways here. And we're going to go 7 bracket x minus 2 equals 20. All right. And we'll do the same thing over here. So if you remember from last chapter, this looks like the distributive property, but we're going to undo it. All right. So what's the first thing? Well, we've got x. What's going on with x? Well, we've got to start with brackets. All right. So we start with x and we're going to subtract 2 from it and we get x minus 2. What are we doing with that whole thing? Well, we're multiplying it by 7 and we're going to get x minus 2. Let's rewrite that. We're going to get 7 times x minus 2 and it's going to equal 20. All right, now we're going to do the exact opposite. So we're going to divide by 7. And 20 divided by 7 equals 2.85. All right, now our next process is we're going to subtract, we're going to add, we're going to do the exact opposite, and we're going to add 2, and we get 4.85. And that's what x equals. All right. So now let's show it algebraically. Well, the first thing we need to do is get rid of that 7. So we're going to divide the whole thing by 7 because that's saying 7 times bracket x minus 2 bracket. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. So we get rid of those and we get x minus 2 equals 20 divided by 7, which equals 2.85. Now, the opposite of minus 2 is adding 2. We add 2 to one, one side, and then we got to do it to the other. We get rid of these, and we're left with x equals 4.85. All right, check it out.